Have you heard about Trello and how everyone's using it to organize their business and personal life and wondering what it's about and how to set it up? Hi, I'm Julie Merrill, also known as the Paddleboarding CPA, and I have a passion for automating processes so that we can work smarter and live harder. In this video, I'm going to share my screen with you and walk you through a hands-on detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create an account in Trello and how to set up a very functional board with checklists and workflows that will streamline a process for you, capture ideas on your iPhone on the go so that you don't lose that information when you think of it and then you get distracted and it goes away. Trello has been a lifesaver for me, capturing my ideas and keeping me organized. Now let's skip on over to my computer screen and I'm gonna show you right now how to set it up. So this is my affiliate link. Going to the paddleboardingcpa.com slash Trello. You can just go to trello.com. You can sign up, it's free. So we're gonna go ahead and sign up. We're gonna enter our name. I'm gonna call this one Soup Chick and it's going to be my email. And I will create a password. All right, so personal boards. So they're gonna have some examples and stuff to do. Um, what I'm gonna do is actually walk you through creating a board. So let's go back to boards. We're gonna create a new board for you. And we're gonna call it, let's call it your blog workflow. So what I'm going to do though is I'm going to blog workflow. So I'm going to put brainstorm ideas because I want you to be able to have a place to dump ideas that come into your workflow that aren't organized. So when you are out you think of something, you see something, you can dump it. So we're going to go to outlines. So we're going to create another section called drafted ready for review, oops, ready for review, and then we're gonna say published. All right, so now if you have blog workflow and you're gonna say maybe 10 gifts for the holidays in stand up paddleboard, five stocking stuffers for paddleboarders. 10 gifts for SUP kids, best accessories for GoPro SUP. All right, those are some ideas. So those are my brainstorm ideas, okay? And then as I want to work on it, I just drag it over to the section of outline. And I can either do it here where I outline, outline the information where I wanna cover Okay, so the 10 gifts, so we're gonna have an introduction for holidays, and then we're gonna have one, two, right? I mean, you can go through and say what you want, how you wanna organize it. Um, another way to do that, though, is to create a Google document that then you can attach into this section. So if you have a folder in your Google Drive where you're doing your brainstorming, you can do it all there and then just attach that file from your Google Drive. All right, so let's just say I've got this document I've created that I wanna add in. So you can just do an attachment and then you it leaves a link to that file. Or you, you can do all of the documentation here you know, you can you can save it, you go pro, the SUP necklace, you get the idea, it has your description, and then maybe you've got some comments. So what's interesting is here you can do need to download affiliate links for each product. Okay, let's save that. And you can create a checklist even add a checklist and affiliate links in place we need graphics for the blog post we need to draft copy uh, schedule a publish date review a video of Facebook live okay you get the idea so you can have these checklists that you then put into this card 
that then follows it. And maybe it's drafted and you take it over here. Once it's drafted and ready for review, you can drag it here. You've got maybe a couple different things in different places and you can work off of this. Once it's published, it goes over here so you can do this. Now, a very good idea for this is to have a template and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So for each blog flow, this is the master template for blog flow blog for blogs to go through the workflow process and then we can do a checklist and here we've got so we've got outline outline the idea we've got to do design graphics affiliate links Okay, we've got to draft copy. We've got to review copy. We'll create a WordPress post draft blog post design elements. Maybe you're gonna change the font colors or the headings and all of that. Uh, review, verify, no spelling, errors, mistakes. QA, Qual QA stands for quality assurance or double check links in post work. Okay, we're gonna going to schedule it for release. Publish. Check again that links work. Share to Twitter. Share to Facebook. Share to Instagram. Share to Pinterest. Got the idea? Okay, so I have this checklist. Yours might be different based on each one, and you can go as high level or as detailed as you want in this checklist. Now what, what happens? Now I have this template. So when I have a new idea, I just click on the edit, and I go to copy, okay, copy, and I'm gonna copy it to the brainstorm ideas, but actually I'm gonna copy it to outlines, and I'm gonna call it 20 mistakes SUP paddle borders make. That's gonna be my blog post. Putting it in the outlines credit card. So now, because I have this template, I've created a new card that already has my checklist. And so you only have to create your checklist once. So it allows you to then, as you find new things or things that don't work for you, to go back through your template, add checklist items, delete checklist items, so that you have one master place where you have all the steps that a blog post needs to go through to go through all the steps from brainstorm to publish. And as I go through here, I can just check it off. And I can add comments and say um, graphics. I can either attach them or I can say they're saved in Drive Graphics blog posts. So you can do these different things so that anyone who comes in to, if you want to see where something is, where it left off, maybe you're working on your blog, you took a step away from it, you can go in and do this. Now, if you have other people working on it and you have questions, now I really, really highly recommend when you get a team and you have more people working on your stuff than just you, I really like Asana because it allows you to actually assign tasks. Right now though, what I can do is I can tag people. So I can tag, someone else on my team and ask a question. Do you have the links for GoPro affiliate? And then if I post that, then it would show up as a notification to me in my Julie Merrill. So it is able to write notes back and forth and ask questions on a certain blog, but it doesn't have the type of interface that Asana has where you can just log in and see all the things that are assigned to you and working on. Um, but it does work. I've used this before with VAs and you can use it in this way. Now you can also have labels. There's all these different, you can add members to your team, to the board, to the card. So this is your board. These are your lists. These are your cards. 
okay and you can change this up in different ways now I've seen you can change your background color to different colors so that when you go into your boards maybe you have personal ones one color you have work ones another color you get the idea so you can change the colors photos so that's something new it does allow you to upgrade for business class where you can add like stickers and stuff if you really wanted to do that which is totally doable see I find that background really really distracting um, still very distracting because I'm looking at that picture now instead of looking at my board I prefer just the straight color and then I do color coordinate best on my things so you could do this same workflow for your YouTube your Facebook lives you can basically then have all these ideas in one place now I'm going to show you on my iPhone how you open the Trello app and record an idea on the go so you don't lose it okay I just opened my Trello I have a t-shirt idea that I want to capture so here are my Trello boards I'm going to click on the Trello board that I have and this is my idea capture I'm going to add a card and say, I know I paddle like a girl. Try to keep up. So now this idea has been captured and is on my board. That was my dog shaking. Um, and I can go out and now I'm done. If you found this video helpful and informative, please give me a like or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also share it with someone else who you think could find it helpful to their business or personal life as well. I'm always sharing and posting tech hacks and business tips on my YouTube channel as well as on Facebook and Instagram. You can find me both places at Paddleboarding CPA. I also have a podcast where I interview active sport business owners making money on and off the water. If that sounds like something that would be exciting for you, check it out. You can find it on iTunes, Stitcher, and Google Play. It's called The Paddleboarding CPA, or you can just listen to it in your browser at thepaddleboardingcpa.com. This is Julie Merrill, The Paddleboarding CPA. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.